Viltrox have released their very own F to Z adapter for the Nikon Z mount system. It is very similar to the first iteration of Nikon's very own F to Z adapter. I'm going to take a look at this and see how it performs with the F mount glass that I have. Interested? So this is Viltrox's very own F to Z adapter. Their mount it's very similar to the Nikon F to Z adapter, as you will see here. There is very little difference in shape, size, form, weight, build quality. Very, very little difference at all. If we have a quick overview of this adapter, it has the USB-C port at the side there. You guys can see that, and that's for updating all the firmware. It does have this button on the front. It's called a reservation button. I have actually no idea at all what that button actually does. I've tried it out. And I still don't know what that button actually does. So overall build quality of this adapter is very good. Now this is a lot cheaper than the Nikon FTZ adapter, although you can buy the FTZ adapter now second hand because there is a new version of this Nikon FTZ adapter out and available, but you're getting a brand new one for a lot less money. So a lot to consider. It's nice, it's nice to see we'll have a little bit of a um, choice now with the Nikon lenses and adapters and stuff like that. The Viltrox seem to be the ones who are kind of at the forefront of making the glass for the Z-mount system, specifically obviously a few of the full frames and APS-C, making some great glass there. Um, and this is the iteration of the FTZ adapter. Now I have tried this out, I have tested it out, and I have tested it between this, and there's very little difference. I cannot see any difference in terms of autofocus and speed. Um, missing focus, just very, very little difference at all. And um, what I will say is that one of the lenses I use, which is the Kena 100mm 2.8, I use that for macro. And um, now, even on the Nikon FTZ adapter, it only allows me to shoot that manual, which I only ever shoot product photography in manual focus anyways. So that's not an issue. However, the Viltrox wouldn't register the lens. It wouldn't register the lens at all. So maybe it still needs a bit of a firmware update. I did check the website to see if there was any firmwares available and there wasn't any yet. So we'll just have to wait and see what firmwares come for this. I would imagine the more that more people use it, they'll update the firmware once they find out if there's any issues with it. But all in all, it's a very good lens adapter. Um, build quality, very much the same as the Nikon FTZ adapter. A lot of people complained in the first instance, this first iteration of the FTZ adapter about this foot. It stopped you from uh, swapping your lenses over when you are hooked up to a tripod. Kind of does get a little bit irritating sometimes. The Viltrox is exactly the same. Now we do know that Nikon have released the version two of the FTZ adapter, which solves that issue. It doesn't have this foot on and it's not getting in the way of your tripod mounts, all that kind of thing. So maybe at some point Viltrox will update their version and give us that same kind of form factor as the version two of the Nikon Z mount. So there's not much else to say really about this lens adapter all apart from it works, does what it says on the tin and we cannot really distinguish much from the quality from both of them. So, and this one is obviously cheaper than the FTC adapter and even the new FTZ adapter. I think this is coming in about $179. I do believe the, uh, the version two is something on the lines of $249. So there's quite a bit of saving there, I think. Um, I'll put links in the description where you can go and check that out and the prices for both mounts. Um, but there you go, that is Viltrox's very own. F to Z adapter for the Nikon Z mount system. I'm going to go with a few more things to try it now and test out. So I will be back with some more videos, some more reviews coming up. So if you like that kind of thing, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to see you guys along for the raid. That being said, I will see you guys in the next one. I'm off out to shoot some more. See you then.